Alright guys, if you recognize this barn behind me, you might know what's up already. We're going to do acceleration tests, and it's been a long time since we've done this, so I'm pretty excited. There's going to be some differences from last time. I'm not going to use the Garmin on the handlebar, uh, and the reason for that, as we get faster and faster with, with the tunes ramping up, especially on the 72 volt sitting here, it's not going to be safe for me to take my left hand off of the grip and push the start-stop timer on the Garmin. So, what we're going to do is I'm just going to leave my iPhone on the handlebar using this quad lock and you'll be able to see the timer in the video hopefully. While I'm on the bike riding, I won't know what the times are. Um, I'm going to have a seat of the pants, a gut feeling about speed. One difference from last time is I'm going to run the Shinko 241 in the rear to give me more traction because we are on pavement. Uh, if you look at our previous acceleration times, it's almost identical. Um, what I am going to have to be careful of is wheelies. Um, Suron, it's small, short wheelbase. When we get up to a 12 kilowatt tune, which is what this bike is capable of, the way it's sitting here with a 72 volt battery and a back 4000, um, I'm not quite sure if I'm going to be able to just gun it on the pavement or if I'm going to have to kind of roll it on. Uh, we'll see and I'll let you know in the video what I'm doing. What I'm going to do first, I'm actually going to take the 72 volt out. We're going to put the OEM battery in here. Uh, it's been bypassed so it's able to put out eight and a half kilowatts with this back 4000 and the EBMX tunes. So let me go get that battery. We're going to swap and we'll start with the OEM bypass battery at an eight and a half kilowatt tune. And I'm gonna run through all five levels on the APT display so you can see how fast each level is. And then when I'm done with that, I'm gonna put the 72 volt back in. I'm gonna retune the back 4000. So I'm gonna to have to swap tunes because this is a 72 volt, not a 60 volt. Um, at the moment, that's only something that we can do as a dealer, um, swap tunes like that. Um, Hopefully before 2022, uh, you guys will have access to an EBMX app that will allow you uh, to swap tunes, go between different voltages, and even make adjustments to things like regen and cruise control and some of these other cool features that EBMX has. Um, so I'm gonna go get that OEM battery, I'm gonna swap, and then we'll be ready to go. This is 60 volt and eight and a half kilowatt tune on the back 4000 oem battery bypassed and as you can see here power level one two three four five i'm going to do one run at each power level by the way these uh grip it gloves are freaking awesome the this is the tech collection and the fingertips work so i can actually start stop and all this stuff the way i'm going to do this this time Hopefully you'll be able to see the timer on here. I'm going to use the video uh, timer, so as I'm editing the video, uh, I'll be able to see how fast these times are. Three, two, one, go. Oh, that's slow. <laughs> really slow. Stop. That was really slow, guys. Forgot how slow power level one is on this tune. Let's hit the plus button over here, and we'll get this up to power level two. And now we're ready. Three, two, one, go. So I am going from zero to a hundred immediately. I'm not doing any type of roll on stuff. I was, uh, I'd say that felt pretty close to what a stock bike feels like. All right, 60 volt, eight and a half kilowatt. Let's go up to power level three, go. Oops. Power level four. This is where things are going to get interesting. Go. Stop. All right, let's get up to power level number five. 
so far this is not uncontrollable. Um, I think the BMS is rolling on the throttle. There's not an instant hit. So even though I'm slamming this immediately, the BMS must be doing some curving to not uh, to not have an instant hit because the bike hasn't tried to wheelie out from underneath me yet. Okay, power level number five, 60 volt, eight and a half kilowatts. Let's do this. Go. <laughs> I have to admit, um, I've been riding the 72 volt EVMX battery for almost a month now. <laughs> it is significantly faster than this. All right, so we've got the Chai battery here, 60 volt. We've got the back 4000 tuned to 12 kilowatts, uh, which is the max uh, that EVMX does on the back 4000. To go any higher than that, you have to go to a back 8000. All right, power level one. Let's see how this compares to the eight and a half kilowatt OEM bypass tune. Three, two, one, go. Pretty slow, but much faster. Oh, we're going real fast now. Stop. Um, definitely was a slow start, but then picked up quite a bit at the end. Let's bump this up to power level number two. Go. Oh yeah, that's a lot faster. Stop. Okay, so power level two on this 12 kilowatt 60 volt is seat of the pants that was way faster than a stock bike so three four and five are gonna start to get scary fast power level number three go oh we're moving now Stop. power level number four go much faster I don't know if the uh, 72 volts going to be that much faster. That's pretty fast. Power level number five. So this will be the fastest run on the 60 volt. Um, luckily, I like how this is not like taking off crazy fast to where it's like trying to loop out. Um, as we've done d development with EBMX in these tunes, one of the things we've, we've asked them for is to um, make sure that the power delivery on these tunes is not so abrupt that it's unrideable. Um, nobody wants to go ride single track and have it so sensitive to where uh, you just can't ride it. Um, and what I'm feeling here is really good. Um, I'm loving how it's got a nice curve to it and off the line it's not trying to wheelie the bike and, and be uncontrollable. Level number five, Chai 60 volt, 12 kilowatts. Three. Two, one, go. Oh, we're fast. Stop. Four and five didn't feel too much different. Definitely was fast. All right, next up, let's, let's put this 72 volt EBMX in here. Power level one, EBMX, 72 volt, 12 kilowatt tune, go. So, off to a very slow start, since we are in power level one, stop. Um, halfway down though, it did start to accelerate. So power level one is very slow off the line. Um, yeah, I, I, I'll have to ask EBMX about this, but I'm guessing that they did that on purpose just to make power level number one a little bit like eco mode but with a higher top end where it's super friendly for beginners about halfway down it, it had really good power but off the line it was pretty slow so let's see how it feels on power level number two and go much faster off the line Stop. all right um the acceleration halfway down was really good that was much faster than a stock bike all right, power level three, 72 volt. Go. Much faster off the line. Oh yeah, that's fast. Holy cow. Go. All right, 72 volt, power level number four. Three was really fast, so uh, I'm gonna scoot way up here. Don't want any chance of the front end coming up. I got a uh, motocross stance, so if you see my elbows up, 
you ever do any motocross uh, instruction or training, they will always tell you elbows up. You don't want your elbows down here. You don't want to ride like this. You want your elbows up. And that's because it gives you leverage on the handlebars. Um, so this is how you would start on a motocross bike. I got my head over the handlebars, my weight shifted forward. I'm slid up as far as I can go without sitting on the plastic. Go. Much faster off the line. I'm trying it's wanting to wheelie. I'm going forward. Stop. That was a lightning bolt. Wow. We're now at 12 kilowatt. Now normally when I ride this bike, I'm usually on three and four. Um, uh, four for single track is really aggressive and uh, takes a lot of energy to ride on number four. So I actually ride on three quite a lot. Um, five is uh, it's so much power. And once again, um, the EBMX tunes feel like they're have a nice acceleration curve to them. So it's not trying to like throw me off the bike on these acceleration runs, which I really appreciate. I don't want this to be completely uncontrollable. Three, two, one, go. Oh, it's wanting to wheelie, it's wanting to wheelie, stop. That is fast. Very smooth. Um, I'm loving how smooth the power is. Seat of the pants. 72 volt definitely felt faster than the 60 volt, even though they were both 12 kilowatt tunes. Um, four, I think, felt faster or similar to five on the 60 volt. I'm curious to see the data, um, but 72 volt, definitely faster.